Welcome to Sniper's Rest. Sniper's Rest is the last best rest stop in the here and there. The place between where you're coming from and where you're going. I am Sniper Shadow and I reside here in Sniper's Rest as a guiding custodian to those who pass through the here and there. Today we leave Sniper's Rest and venture into the multiverse. Island life is calling us. Welcome back to Coral Island. Let's get our hands dirty and do some farming. Welcome to Coral Island. We are back in the last week of spring at Frog Hollow. Now I can't remember what we were doing. I remember we did the tree festival. I'm not sure what we were working towards in the uh, on the farm, but uh, I'm gonna have a look at all the quests in a moment. I know we currently have one sprinkler. Uh, right. So that button pauses the game. This is the this is the button, but you use right trigger. Okay. So, we need to heal the coral sites and we need to complete a temple offering. Now, if I remember correctly, we could harvest via, yes, we can. Which makes it a lot easier to harvest. Oops. Right. I have I have music turned on, don't I? Ambient volume, music volume. Uh, no, apply. Yes. I can't hear the music. I'm not sure if that's just me though. Oh yeah, there it is. It's vaguely, very quietly in the background. Okay. We have some cauliflower siege, which take 10 days to grow. So they take 10 days to grow. It's the 22nd right now. And that'll mean the 32nd, which isn't a day. Uh. Okay. Um, I wonder if we can quickly dart into town and grab some Oops Yoink We'll quickly dart into town and see if we can grab some um, more seeds for the garden before we go, uh, wait, 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 come back. The new type of bee. I didn't even know you could get beetles by digging in the ground. Apparently, you can. That's cool. Bestest boy taco. Your day is now significantly better after seeing taco. God, the truth. The truth of that statement. I believe I have not donated ground beetle. I presume ground beetle is for donation. Ground beetle is not for donation. Okay, never mind. Um. Oh, we've already donated ground beetle. Apparently I've caught one of those. I don't remember doing that. Alright. Wakey shakey Sam! 
Oh? Better make sure we get some of that cereal Archie likes, honey. We're about to run out. Maybe grab more than usual since they're on sale. On it! I think Yuri asked for this, but I don't remember what brand she likes. I'll just get this one and buy her a pastry for forgiveness if I got it wrong. Are you sure you can't decrease the price of these cinnamon rolls? You know I'm buying bulk for the inn. Besides, you live there. If you plan on buying this much regularly, I'm sure we can discuss something, but I'll need to speak to Sam first to make sure it's above, everything is above board. That sounds good to me. Hey, what are you doing? That's mine. No, no, I saw it first. What are you talking about? I walked through that door first. Sure, you might have, but I was definitely here right in front of the shelf before you. Ha, huh. you and that rich lady leg of yours, no way. You know I keep myself in shape by tending to my very health healthy and plentiful farm. Unlike whatever you call that patch of weed you have in front of your house. What a bitch! Solve the problem, Sam. Atta boy. Ladies, that's enough. You're causing a scene. Here you go. I found some more amaranth flour in the back, so this should be enough for both of you. Good to hear, Sam. I knew I can always count on you. I'll take a bag of that flour, then. Also, I looked up previous versions of me playing this game when I said that at the tree festival they had changed the models of some people. They have not done anything. I am nuts. I noticed things that I did not notice previously. So, they haven't changed any of the character models at all. They are all exactly the same. I just noticed little details when we were doing the tree festival that I hadn't noticed previously. What can I do for you? Shop, please. Okay, so those grow in four days. Okay, so we're gonna grow... I think it was 24 of each one. I think. Except this one is 23 because the sprinkler is in the way. I think. Maybe it's 26 and I need 20. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it's 25 and I need 24 for one and 23 for the other. No, 25 for one and 20. Oh shit, you know what I mean. Started. I'm still humming and hiring whether to like water the crops because I'm just gonna. I might just leave it. I won't water them. I'll just plant them. Oh, what the frig? Okay, uh. Wait, it's this one. There we go. Dang it. Mm. 
No, I was right. It was 24. I remembered from last time. Go me. Whoops. Okay. Uh, beach. We have to go to the beach. And I have a tree. I forgot about my tree. I think it should be eventually a bit able to... What the heck was that sentence? That wasn't even a sentence. That was like a series of... That was, that was a series of sounds that weren't interconnected in any way, shape, or form. What I intended to say was, I think I can buy a series of trees and make an orchard. Fly! Which we're not catching because we want to go beach fishing. And by beach fishing, I mean diving because apparently I don't know words today either. Sure am. Uh, that one. I want to be able to take this little robot guy home. So heckin' cute. Whoopsie. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I was like trying to break that. Ooh, that's a sea snail. Slug, rather. Got him! Cool! Cute but slightly venomous! Haha, <laughs> like me! I love the music in this bit, it's so nice. We can hop a spot. I would like to know where we should go now. Ooh, coffer. Very nice. Uh, oh, really? My whole inventory is full, huh? Uh, 
okay. Can I eat the mushroom? I would like to consume the sea mushroom, please. I would also like to consume the steamer clam, because I know I don't need that. Gosh, there's so much trash. So that whole, this whole area is clean, right? Except like, yeah, except for the small assorted pieces of trash that appear occasionally. We need to clear like whole areas. So we went up here. He's new, cool. I don't remember getting one of those before. Huh. Different outfits and things. I find it super frustrating that our inventory space is so small. Oh! Uh, how do I... No, right there. Can I eat this? Oh, I can. Well, I'll just eat the seaweed then. A yeti crab. That's pretty cool. So I would like to consume candy tree seed, please. I know it's getting late, we'll have to leave soon. Just wanna heal one more of these sites. Hell yeah! Wow, 
What happened? Did it kick? Man. It kicked me out before I had finished healing the coral side. It kicked me out before we finished. That's... That's not ideal. That's not very nice. I don't like that. <laughs> Ooh, that's like a spider. Yes, I know. It's getting late. I'm going. I'm going. See, look. I'm going. I haven't donated these guys yet. I don't know what that is, but it's cute. Normally I wouldn't bother stopping for a bug, but that thing was adorable. Whoops. Okay, I haven't donated that guy. Okay, so we haven't donated that guy. Okay, so tomorrow we're just gonna go straight to the beach. We're not gonna do any other things. Gonna go straight to beach. Oh yay, we got to be more friends. That's nice. All right, come on, little girl. What's going on? Quickly harvest. Our first potatoes! Oh, uh, do we have enough time? Mm. Oh, fire up. Do I... No, I'm not gonna go to the store. Because I could go to the store and buy more peonies for the, for the garden. But I'm not going to go to the store and do that because that's what happened last time and then we were, we healed the coral site but got booted out just as it was like finishing up. So we're just going to go straight and do that. We're not going to pick anything up on the way. Sorted. Um, we're not going to pick anything up on the way. We're not going to do anything. We go straight to the diving place. Because... This game represents life a little bit in the sense that you plan to do all these things with your day and then you just always run out of time no matter no matter how hard you try there's never enough time in a day to do all the things that you want to do you know what I mean I've never had that represented as best as it is in these freaking farming games because no human being 
can get up at like 6 a.m. every day and go to bed at 2 a.m. every day and be totally fine. Like, that's just... Like, not a lot of people are built like that. People can't survive on that little sleep. Some people, some people have this... Whether it's a magic power or not, <laughs> depends if you're good with uh, not sleeping, I guess. Um, because... Oh! Oh, so we come down here and now it's saying, hey. You did it. Jeez. Okay, well, let's just clear up all the rubbish. Then we can go visit Ling in the lab. I thought I was going to have to re-find the little thingy. The activation point or whatever it's called. I have low stamina? Okay. I'll eat my tree seeds. What the heck is that? I want to know- wait, what is it? No. Oh. I thought it was a piece of trash. What the heck was that thing? That was cool. Thanks, little bunny. I, I kind of noticed. Shit, they just opened a new area. And But I was just gonna clean this. Okay, we're not gonna go down the stairs. We're not gonna go down the stairs. We're just gonna clean this area up, which was the plan in the first place. It was just to clean this little area up. Stay slug! Aw oh, man! It's cute, but highly venomous. That's me. Is 
Pacific Oyster. What's this? I don't know what that is. Uh. Okay. We're almost finished cleaning this area up. Got him. Check on this area over right here. Okay, so they did not unblock that path. It was just that one path down the bottom here. Very okay, sweet. So let's go visit Lang at the lab. Uh, wait, how do I call the anchor again? Oh no, that's right. Sweet. Yes, I do want to exit diving. Thank you. Okay, Ling is in the lab, which is uh somewhere this way. Uh oh, compost. Thank you. Hello. What a lovely day. I might bake mooncakes to enjoy with some evening tea. That sounds lovely, Betty. Can you teach me how to make mooncake? That sounds super nice. How, do, how does one make mooncake? That sounds mystical and magical and... I would like to learn how to make mooncake, please. Uh, freaking... Uh, lab, 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 lab. Is this the lab? Yes. Hi. Knock, knock. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Fine, we'll go see Ling tomorrow. Gosh. Every time. If you say closed, I swear. Hello. Are you for real? Twice? Uh, we're going home, going to bed, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, no, we're not going to go home and go to bed. We're going to go over. And I'm going to write down what we need from the, the, the nice lady, the lake lady. Oh, mushroom. And I forgot my inventory was full. Can I, oh, there's a piece of seaweed. I can eat that, can't I? Yep. There you go. Now I can have a mushroom, which means I can also eat the mushroom. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna go see the lady of the lake. Okay, let me see what we need. So we need five of some kind of seed. We need a carrot. Ocean loot. Okay. I'm gonna go. Hang on.
All right, I got my piece of paper. I'm gonna write this down because otherwise I'm gonna forget again. Coral Island offerings. Okay, so we need five tree seeds. Uh, one carrot. Uh, then we need, um, one shallot. One hibiscus. One blueberry. One hot pepper. And one bronze sunflower. Okay, what else? Okay, we need one black trumpet, one fig, one orchard, or orchid, depending on how you say it. I don't say it right. Uh, one pumpkin, and one bronze rice. Okay, then what else do we need? We need winter. So we've got one Brussels sprouts. One kale. One rose hip. Nice. I love how one snowdrop. I love how this game um doesn't use the same standard stuff that other games do. And one bronze tea leaf. So like, you know, you always get carrots, you always get like beets or parsnips or you know, pumpkins, cauliflower. But they're using like like flowers and and sort of like vegetables and stuff that you don't usually see in the standard farming games so i think that's really cool um especially things like rose hip and like tea leaves and i mean stardew valley has tea leaves but like that comes off a bush not you can't grow them you know and ocean loot so we need five sea salt uh one king scallop Uh, one Eastern Oyster. One Blue Mussel. And one Green Sea Urchin. Okay. So now I've written that down, that means I can't hecking forget every two seconds of what I need to bring here. So I intended to write it down last time and I completely friggin' forgot. So this time we write it down. Oh, wait, do I have any space? I do. I think I've already got a cricket though. Heck, let's get another one. Come here. Firefly! I don't have enough space to catch any more bugs, but that was fun. I like bug catching. I think that's a nice part of the game. They do it in lots of games, like where you have bug catching and you have the net, you know, like Animal Crossing and all that, and this one, and. I 
think it's called Heart Carry Life is another one which I think was created as like an Animal Crossing style game on a different on like like other platforms um but like the most interesting way that I've seen um that I've seen it done is the uh, that way yeah the most interesting way I've seen it done is when uh, Paleo did it because they use like these um almost like pokeballs you throw it at the at them and they, it's like stuns them and then you catch them that way which I think is a really unique way to do it um Huh. All right, nap time for this girlie. Oh, diving level two, recycling machine, cool. So we go go see Lynn today. Um, what do we do with the recycling machine then? Crafting, move. Turn one, turns one resource into another. Heck yeah, that sounds interesting. Oh gosh, that's quite big, isn't it? I was not expecting it to be quite that big. That's okay though. It was, uh, I'm gonna leave it there. So it produces scrap using two trash. Cool. Um, so sprinklers I can't do yet because I don't have the access to the silver core. I was gonna say corpse. I don't know why, but kelp was the word that I mean, meant. I just, <laughs> I just cannot speak today. Just need to go back to bed, I think. <laughs> okay, so we have the furnace, we have the mayonnaise machine, and we have the recycling machine. And we need to build ourselves our So we need to build ourselves a kiln, but in order to do that, we have to go mining and an extractor. And in order to do that, we need a bit more scrap, but the, the computer thingy said that I could convert trash into scrap. Huh. So I'm gonna go see Ling while that's good. Oh, actually, I'm gonna take my coffers with me and stuff because I need to. Um, I need to put those. I need to put those into the blacksmith to get them broken open. So there's some earth geodes there, which I need to do. Um, and then there's also in here. There's like these coffers that I need to do. Uh. And then this little guy needs donating. Saw dude.
Journey, this will lead. No, this is the wrong way. I need to go this way. This is the lab here. I'm pretty sure it's open. There we go. Hey Ling, I did it! Ah, Snipes, welcome to the lab. I've been expecting you. Of course I already know everything that happened while you were diving. You were able to activate the solar orb. I saw everything unfold from Kibble's point of view. I'm glad the ocean finally found someone worthy. More importantly, I owe you an explanation. Please follow me to my secret lair where I can explain things to you. Secret lair? You mean your lab? Where to start? Well, many years ago, I planted super corals, just like the one here, all around Coral Island. They've been specifically bred to survive rising ocean temperatures and hostile environments. The room we're in also holds a murph... Ancient... Ma'am, were you about to say merfolk technology? Ma'am, you were about to say merfolk technology. Is there mermaids in this game? Ma'am, is there mermaids in this game? If there are mermaids in this game, ma'am, you have just sold me on playing much longer than I planned to. There are mermaids in this game? If there are, that is so fucking cool. Okay. Ancient technology that can remove those stubborn oil-covered roots and heal sick coral. She was about to say merfolk. Heck, I know she was. What you saw in the ocean, how should I put it? At its most ba basic, we take a little bit of what makes super coral healthy and share it with other all the other sick corals so they can get better. By combining human science and a little bit of magic and the ancient technology inverted commas the ocean can recover it's a lot to take in and i'm sure you still have questions but that's all i can share for now the rest you'll need to discover on your own as promised the diving suit is yours to keep thank you but hmm just one more thing before i let you go I want you to know that although you've been deemed worthy, you aren't the only one out there that is worthy. Hopefully that didn't come across the wrong way, but I don't want, like, want you to feel like this is a fate you can't escape. There's nothing worse than that. Oh. Thanks again for stopping by, Snipes. That hinted some underlying shit. What's this? Oh, you can, you can, you can shop. <gasps> oh, this lady's got, oh, that's, 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 that's rich. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't have any processable items. She, she has some, she has some story. Hey, man. Anything new going on? No. Except I will probably go away about you. Hey! Excuse me, but is my hair messy? I hope not. No, you're fine. Hey, Betty! Mayor Connor put me in charge of the town's decorations and landscaping. I like doing it, but it's a lot of work. Thankfully, I have Pablo to help. Can I... I can't read what it says. I must have to, like help the the lake lady first Hey 
Hey man. Um, I need to process some stuff if that's cool. Stone. Silver. Harpoon. Garnadite ring. Chipped pottery jug. Bronze kelp. So, see, I could go mining and then collect a bunch of ore and stuff because I need the ore for the kiln. Donate item. We don't have one of those. We don't have one of those. And we don't have one of those. Do I have any rewards? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Or I could continue. See, this is the thing. I don't know what to do now. Because I could continue the diving and hopefully start to get some silver kelp and then in turn make sprinklers. Or I could go mining and get a kiln. I think I might do some more diving. I've decided. Just gonna go put the things away and then we'll go we'll go diving again, see if we can reach some silver kelp. So if we can reach some silver kelp, that'd be like super helpful. Okay, uh that away, that away, that away, and then this away too. Then we should, no ma'am, be able to make the extractor. Okay. You juice bronze kelp and essence using your new extractor. Why is it that bulky? Produce kelp, kelp, produce kelp essence by using 10 kelp and one glass. So 10 kelp and one glass. Cool. So these machines can all get put like they're very cute and tidy and nice and like they should be fairly easy like building maybe a shed or something and putting them in there i feel like they'll all line up kind of nicely hey yoko joko joko yoko oh jeez, i'm sorry i've forgotten your name i think it's joko Lady Beetle. It's so cute! Oh gosh, there's a lot of recipes to learn, huh? I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can't tell from here. Never mind.
Scary diving. Initiating friendly conversation mode. Oh my god. Did I mention I love this little robot? Is that an urchin? Harvest? Black sea urchin. Cool. Okay, so this we must be deeper in the water now. So I'm gonna move the anchor to here. Come on, silver kelp. I wish I knew where it was, where that thing he went to, where the, uh, I can hear it. That's a crab. Whee! Got him. Oh, it's a pom-pom crab! Oh my goodness! When threatened, it picks up stinging and enemies in its claws and brandishes them to scare off enemies. It's a cheerleading crab. That's amazing and I love it. I promise. There we go. Did we get it? Amazing. Oh, look. So much cleaner. Yes, we want to exit diving. Okay, well we didn't find any we didn't find any kelp, but that's okay. We'll find some more. S find some more maybe tomorrow. Oh my god, my farm is this way. That... Has that pathway always been there? I don't remember that pathway being there. I mean, it probably has been. I mean... You know, most of the things... 
Most of the things that I have done in this game, I've been like, is that always like that? And it, it always is. Okay, uh, pop that away. He needs to be donated. That guy's already been donated. The other guy is just food. And this is the kelp essence that I was claiming rewards for. Oh, the entrance exam. Yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, we'll pop that in there for now. Alright, pop those in there. And yes, we'll go to bed. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Right, to the beach. Oh, it's raining, lovely. We don't have to water the crops. Wait, what's that doing up? Hang on, uh, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, we got a skill point. Double kelp. Trash up where all your sources increased chance of finding artifact. We're gonna spend it on double kelp. Uh, and we want to continue to explore the ocean. And someone needs to tell me what this plant here is because I want one of these in my garden. It looks amazing. Hey, little buddy. I think this is the right way. Fly. Uh, yes, it is, because I gotta go this way. I'm sorry, who's ever yada just walked through. At least old mate's not lying in the rain. I'd be a bit worried if he was. Morning! Right. Go diving. Oh, you can reset the interlocation. That's neat. Sure is, little buddy. Uh, no, we need this one. It's a starfish. Hey, starfish. I'm gonna leave you be though, because I don't really need you. I've already donated you to the museum. I will take this though, because I'm pretty sure I can eat those. Peaceful down here. Oh my gosh. If it wasn't for all the rubbish.
Oh, hook starfish. No, it's alright, dude. I'm not gonna catch you. Oh, look at him panicking. Oh, heck yeah, double kill. Is that? Oh no, I think that's part of the coral formation. Harvest like that, right? I thought it was a rock. I know we'll eat some, well, we won't eat trash. We got all the energy now. <coughs> there it is. Go. Is this like a house? This seems like a house. Exclusive treasures hide in special zones. Seek and you shall find. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. Oh, is that a cheerleading crab? Ha! De these are definitely houses. What is that? Is that a show? Hmm. No. No. Not sure.
sooner. Uh... Okay. Oh, there it is. Coming. Oh my gosh, this one's going in a hook, in a hook shape. Guys. Oops, no. Um What was the thing we needed? Was it a... Oh no, it's a king scallop. This is a... A Mediterranean scallop. It's getting late. We will leave soon. Okay. Boot me out whenever you need to, bro. Inspect. Oh no, it's done that thing. It's done that thing where I can't do anything. How did I fix that last time? I've forgotten. There it is. Just have to swing it. It says inspect, so I want to inspect. Yeah, I know it's getting late. Very not I'm sure it looks familiar. Yeah, that's because it's the thingy. I've got enough space to pick these up. Now I don't have any space though. Farm. Oh no.
We didn't earn much, but that's okay. I don't need a potato, I just need a carrot, don't I? Yeah. I'm still waiting for the carrots. So I'm thinking what I do, because I need five of these tree seeds to complete that one mission thingy. So I was thinking the best course of action would be to get those five tree seeds. While also attempting to harvest for candied tree seeds. Nope, that's the pickaxe. I don't need that, I need this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to sacrifice them to make tree seeds in order to continue to collect full tree. I know that doesn't make sense. It's fine. <laughs> uh, this one. What else can I do? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to bed. I'm gonna get up in the morning. And we're gonna go continue cutting trees down. Because we don't have enough energy right now. And it's not helping us out, so. We're just gonna get all our energy back. Because that makes more sense to me than trying to fight it. Oh, 
Why are there signs? I didn't want to craft those. I was trying to work out why the signs were there. That's okay, they're kind of cute. We could probably maybe do something with them. Oh yeah, look, see? We could uh, place one like this and then interact with it. Okay, what is the point in that? What does it do? I don't understand. Okay. Oops. Okay, we've nearly got five, which is great because that's what we need to give it the temple. I'm very excited too because the um, the 1.6 update for Stardew just dropped yesterday I think it was. So instead of continuing Spooky Stardew I am going to replace Spooky Stardew Day with a new 1.6 update day which is which will just be a new vanilla playthrough of the game to see what they have added. And I'm very excited about that because apparently I have tried to avoid um, I've tried to avoid the old uh, f you know reddits and things to uh, to kind of experience it firsthand. Yeah, I think we even get a new farm, like a new map, like a new farm map. So that'll be really cool. I'll be playing on, if there's a new one, I'll be playing on a new one. If not, I'll probably be playing on a, I haven't done a beach farm for a while. Could do a beach farm perhaps, or maybe a, because I usually always do woods, woodland farm because it's got like nice side areas that you can place things and you know you get a little bit of foraging happening on the sides of your farm and that so it's kind of a bit of variety. The river farm is good too in the sense that um, you can you can get A lot of different fish and things from from there which is cool okay let's go visit the goddess before we run out of stamina um so yeah but see my problem at the moment is i have too many games going at once so it's taking me too long to to get through them. Um, which is unfortunate and annoying. 
So what I'm going to do is finish what I've got happening right now with all of the games that I'm currently working my way through and posting and stuff. And then I'm going to keep it down to um, three games only. So that way it won't be too much time in between uploads of like episodes. That's beautiful, man. Um, because I think right now I've got six on the go, and that's too many. Oh? Hey, you guys. What you doing? Snipes, beautiful day at the lake, huh? Sure is. Oh, sorry. Mom, this is Snipes. You two have met, right? Snipes, this the, is the new farmer at that lot. Yes, we've met. How do you do, dear? Mom and I are doing a little stretching. I have some free time today, so what the heck. I figured I'd bring her here. It's good to stretch. It's true. It isn't fun doing it alone. Thankfully, Noah doesn't mind keeping me company. I wish I could stay longer. I have to pick up flour from Sam's. Mom, Frank needs to hire more people. I can't be the only one running around for stuff at the tavern. He's too cheap for his own good sometimes. Son, in that case, maybe you should go do it now. If it's making you anxious, I don't think you should put it off. But you'd be all alone here, Mom. Not that that's a bad idea. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. All right, then. So I think 30 minutes more and then we'll head back home, yeah, Mom? Snipes, join us. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Let's move to a different spot. <gasps> Hi! Bon Bon! Oh gosh. Oh, they're painting. I'll leave them be. Let them cook. Okay, here we go. Unlock the recycling machine. Alright, I've done the thing. I, I did the thing, Lake Lady. I done did the thing. Lake, Lake, Lake Lady? You did it! Uh huh. Drink this to receive my blessing. You can now use my shroud. You can now use my shrines and travel freely between them. Oh? Oh? Oh! Uh-oh! The Goddess Blessing unlocks the ability to use teleport shrines. Oh, take reward. Recycling machine! I just built one of those. <laughs> Okie dokie, and this is... Oh, this is a new... Oh, we haven't unlocked that one yet. Or that one. Okay, so this is... Oh, gosh. Alright, now i got to write more things down. Let me get my pen. Okay. So we have done the candy tree seed, so I can cross that off now. Alright, what have we got now? We've got freshwater fish. We have a catfish, a tia til tilapia. I always say Tialpa, which is not how you say it at all. 
I have this terrible habit of looking at a word and then pronouncing it how I think it should sound <laughs> instead of how it actually sounds. A rainbow fish. Unusual. They didn't call it a rainbow trout, but okay. Um, silver arowana. I've never heard of that. Is that a real fish? And a silver quality koi. Okay, what's next? Saltwater fish. We have a pink snapper. A lionfish. An Asian sheep's head. A yellowfin tuna. A silver quality sardine. Rare fish. A sturgeon. A gator gar. A ara pamia? Ara pamia? Giant sea, giant sea bass, and a yellow moray eel. Oh, day insects. A pipe vine. Swallowtail butterfly. A tiger beetle. A yucca moth. An assam silk moth. And a monarch caterpillar. Night insects. We have the firefly. The secropia, secropia caterpillar. Centipede. No thing living on earth should have that many legs, but never mind. The road beetle. And finally, the atlas moth. Which are absolutely massive, if I recall that information correctly, that's randomly stuck in my brain. Ocean critters. We have a cannonball. That can't be real. Is that a real thing? Because if that's a real thing, that's the best thing ever. A hermit crab. Classic. A, s a what? Are you, are you seeing this? A sexy shrimp. Who? Okay. Okay. Okay, science people, people who name things. Come back, what, come, come back to me and tell me why someone called that a sexy shrimp. If I'm going to look that up, if that's freaking real, and I know he's called a pom-pom crab, but he's a cheerleader crab, okay. 
I have renamed him and no one's going to argue with me about it. I have renamed him. He is a cheerleader crab. Oh my goodness, we can fast travel. Do you have any idea how great that is? Uh, now we have two recycling machines that we don't need two of, but we'll put it there anyway. Um, now. Now we don't have enough energy to cut any more trees down. Um, but we're going to make... Where's the... There, thank you. Okay, we can only make two of those, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, we'll get there eventually, guys. We'll get there eventually, I swear. I promise we'll get there eventually. Fumbling around like a freaking Muppet. Okay. Here, 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 here. And no, that is in, that is, that is incorrect. We want to put that there. Mm, okay, so. I can't cut anything else down. I can't do any more things and no more stuff, so we might just go to bed. Let's go have naps. Might go sleep. And then we'll go mining, I think. Oh, we got nice with Betty, yay. Alright, so I think we're going to go to the mine today. Uh, so we're going to go, whoops, no, here. Uh, where is our questing? So we're going to go questing. I can't remember, is the mine this way? Can I go to the mine this way? I may be able to. Oh, this is where Ugaba lives, right? Ugaba lives here. Um, cavern. Oh, cavern. Yeah, this is the right way, isn't it? Well, it was a long-winded way. I could have gone from the farm, but still. What does this say? I still can't read it. Snail! Waited you have, human. Thank you. Slept much I did after ceremony. Go see goddess, I hope you have. I did. Goom goom. Talk now we will. Night of full moon many, many seasons ago. Giants I did find frozen here in cavern. Alive they are, but unable to 
uh, but unable I am to free them. Powerful magic cast. Earth, water, wind, all here, but fire not here. Suspicious this is. Investigate I want further in each shaft, but strong barrier prevent me cannot enter. But you freely enter earth shaft I have seen. Clues of what giants frozen must be inside. If go in shaft again, help me you will to investigate. If find anything, I can sense and will come here. Okay, Ugaba, I help. I love how he talks. That is the coolest thing. Free the earth giant. Okay, you got it. I can help, Ugaba. Earth shafts. We are currently at level 10. to me is that a mining skeleton go sleep <laughs> What the heck and beckon is that? I thought that was a container. He is not a container. Did that say cursed fragments? What's this? Oh, torch. Did that say cursed fragments? Uh, I hate it. Jump in. the next shaft entrance I must
There's nothing here to investigate. There it is. Okay. Double or Hell yeah. Jump in. What level is this? I don't even know. Okay, well, I'll have to go because there's no other way. <laughs> I've got no food. Got no more food. No, I think we did alright considering. There we go, now we got a little bit of energy. At least go home without the world being grey. Huh. Already telling me don't do that. Oh, I can probably some donate some of this stuff though. I mean, offer it to the goddess or whatever. Mm. 
Visit Coast Fragment. Um, so we can donate that. We can offer that. We can offer that. And we can also offer this guy. Um, then we want to put this fellow in here. And then we'll go visit the goddess uh, over at the temple because we can fast travel now. Right. Oh, these are all offerings for here. So we can offer this guy. We can offer this one. We can offer this one and this one. Awesome. So we offered um we offered the pipeline butterfly, the awesome silk moth, the centipede, and the chili to crab. Awesome. What? I can't go home. <laughs> Fine, I'll walk. What on earth? That was weird. I don't know why that was like that. Why it's not letting me go home, but okay. Time go bad. Time go bad. And next time, cool, new combat level. And next time, we shall continue on with attempting to save the earth giant, save the ocean, save the town. Oh, hold on a minute. There's a cutscene. My darling flower lily, I missed you so much. It's going to be a fun summer now that you're here. Okay. So we shall return to title. And we'll find out who that is next time. So you have a good rest of your evening, morning, whatever time it is you're watching this. Thank you for sharing Colorado Island with me once again, and we will see you on the next one. That concludes our adventures for today, my friend. Please return next time and we will continue our journey. But for now, we head back to Sniper's Rest. If you wish to rest here for a time, please find a space that suits you. Whether you curl up by the fire, partake in some food and beverages in our kitchen, take a nap in one of our many rooms, or take a stroll around the garden, please know you are always welcome at Sniper's Rest, my friend. If you are continuing your journey, good luck, my friend, wherever you end up, wherever you come from, and wherever you're going. Thank you for spending some time here with us at Sniper's Rest. Remember to take care of yourself, be kind to others, Hydrate, take a moment to look out into the world and marvel at how incredible it all is. How incredible you are, friend. 
Until next time, please take care on your way.